Well, now let's check on our Friday forecast with Storm Track Green Meteorologist Garrett Hamilton. If you like the cooler weather, this is your final morning to get out and enjoy it. Things are going to be heating up as we get into the afternoon. And as we continue throughout the weekend, heat and humidity are going to continue to build into the region and it's going to continue through early next week. We're still sitting into the upper 50s across most of southern Illinois. 57 coming in for Corbindale and 59 for Mount Vernon. Further to the south, we are seeing temperatures into the lower to mid 60s. We're also seeing humidity values increase across our southern counties with dew points coming in into the lower 60s in our southern counties. We're still feeling pretty dry this morning across southern Illinois, however. Here's a live look at the beautiful sunrise across Mount Vernon this hour. And as we continue throughout the rest of our day, we're going to continue to see temperatures warm up. We're going to see partly cloudy skies by the time we make it to 9 a.m. with a temperature of 70, 83 by 12 o'clock this afternoon, 88 by 3 p.m., 85 by 6 p.m. Heat index values will likely be running into the low to mid 90s by the time we make it to 3 o'clock into the afternoon. Now, area wide, you can expect to see highs generally into the upper 80s and lower 90s for a lot of us. 89 expected for Carbondale, 90 for Harrisburg, 91 for Sykeston, and for Union City. We will see a little bit of cloud cover later on this afternoon, but those clouds should stay pretty high into the atmosphere, so the sun should still be able to poke through. As you're headed out the door this evening for the Ducoin State Fair, we're tracking pretty nice conditions. We'll be into the lower 80s with partly cloudy skies. Now, overnight tonight, we'll likely see partly cloudy skies, and we will see a couple of chances for light isolated showers overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Talking about 7 a.m. tomorrow, we could see a few of those sprinkles work their way through, but then they should be out of here by the middle of the morning. By lunchtime, we'll already be into the 80s and highs tomorrow will once again be into the lower 90s, about 92 for Carbondale, 94 for Perryville and 95 for Paducah. We'll likely see partly cloudy skies through Saturday evening, but we should be dry. Now temperatures for Sunday are looking to be slightly warmer with a high expected of 93 with partly cloudy skies and dry conditions. We will see a heat index between 93 and 96 degrees on Sunday, but that's just a taste of what's to come. We are tracking this area of high pressure that will move from the west to the east and be sitting over us by the time we make it to Tuesday afternoon. Monday and Tuesday's highs look to be generally trending around 97 degrees for Monday, 98 for Tuesday. So it is going to be quite a bit hotter across most of the area. That's why it's always important to keep the Storm Track 3 app right there in the palm of your hand. You'll be able to track all those hot temperatures right there. And if we do get a heat alert, you'll be able to see that right there. Now, this high pressure system is going to keep us mostly dry over the next couple of days. Our next best chance of rain does arrive next week with about an isolated chance of showers and storms on Tuesday. 30% chance for Wednesday and 40% chance for next Thursday. But overall today dry with a high of 89 isolated showers are possible early, early tomorrow morning. 93 for Sunday, 97 for Monday, 98 for Tuesday, 95 for Wednesday and 93 for Thursday with a couple of chances for showers. Look at that viewer photo oh. of the day. Look at that sunset from Garden of the Gods. That is beautiful. I love that. It's kind of like a little postcard from our